Hello and welcome to part 16 of our Python 3 Basics tutorial series. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is how to read from a file in Python 3. So, in the previous two videos, we learned how to write and append to a file. And now what we want to talk about is reading from the file. So, for example, we're going to use this example file. And let's say we want to read from this file. What we're going to go ahead and do is say read me equals, and again, open, and we're going to use that example file, yes, the example file dot text, so example file, oops, file dot text, and this time we want to open it with the intention to R, or read. Now we can go ahead and actually just do dot read right away on that, save ourselves a line, and then now what we can do is let's just say print read me, Save that, run it, and this is the output. So just like what it looks like. Now, fairly quickly, people want to, if you have a file like this that is separated by new lines, README is just one bit of text, right? One string. But what we can do is we could do split me equals read me dot, and then we can do split, and then you say what, what you want to split it by. And in this case, we want to split it by a new line. So backslash n, the new line, which we already kind of covered. But that's how we even wrote it to a file to make new lines. Now we can split by new line. And now what we can do is print split me like this. Save that and run it. And then we get some text, even more text, even more text, and even more text. And this is actually in a Python list, as you can see. So we could do, you know, print split me three or two. Let's do two. So that just printed up even more text right at the bottom. Now, there's an easier way to do this, actually, if you are just going to split by uh, each line. And instead of dot read, what you can do is something like this. So we could say read me two equals open and then the file name. So example file dot text with the intention to read and then instead of dot read only you would do dot read lines and this will put it into a list already for you so now we can say print read me to save and run that and now we get this and it's by line but as you can see we have these little new lines added to it so keep that in mind that when you read by new by each line, if you had a new line there, it's going to show it. But just for, well, I guess we won't really touch on that for now. But anyway, uh, just keep in mind that you can also split by new line and then you won't have to deal with those new lines. But you can also replace them. So that's it for reading from a file. In the next video, what we're going to be talking about is classes in Python. And I don't mean classes as in a Python class. I mean classes as in the structure. So classes are kind of confusing to a lot of people, but we can hopefully break them down a little bit to make them easier to understand. So stay tuned for chapter 17, Classes.